going to see 14 cars in this 10-minute session. Then a brief pause. They'll then be joined those that managed to advance by the drivers that succeeded in practice three, which does seem a long time ago. The fastest in practice three was Chas Mostert. It was actually a new practice record. He did a one minute 19.2. Very good conditions at that point in the day on Friday. When he needed to be on the left side. Oh, we've got big trouble here for Jack Smith. before Jack Smith has wiped the wall. And that is a very, very bruised and bent Holden Commodore. Now that'll trigger a red flag almost certainly. Turn eight, the red culprit flag, once again. Flag. Let's see what happens here on the replay at turn eight. It's a big hit. That's a nasty hit. Here's the other angle. So left rear is slapped hard and then it flicks the front left in as well. And then unfortunately, because he can't steer it, it also makes contact lightly with the wall on the right. Holdsworth at 20.4, Coulthard at 20.5, LeBrock at 20.6, Rick Kelly at 20.6, and Fabian Dusty does a 20.99. His last sector was a long way away, in fact, it's six tenths away. So what's interesting here is that Jack's actually just done two personal best. Now, I reckon this is his third flying lap it on is. his tyre set. And uh, if he continues as he is, he might even move up over Fabian. He could grab Lee. Oh, he just locked the rear brakes on the run into 14. That will hurt. There's a tenth in that at least. How good's it going to be? Does it move him up? He's sitting in third. No change. He did a 20.8. So he lost some time in that final sector. Let's see what this is because McLaughlin's sector splits have been impressive on this lap so far. Not enough, a 19.9. So he pulled a miracle previously in the final sector on the first run on those tyres, but they faded away near the back end. So that's good enough for position three. Right on the bubble is Anton Di Pasquale, he's 10th. Next up, the driver that finished third in yesterday's race, one of the championship, Shane Van Gisbergen, who three times has claimed the Adelaide 500 victory here. He's been a master at achieving pole positions. He's got seven of them to his credit at this location. He's had a very busy pre-season start, driving a sports car at Tail and Ben, driving over in the US at the Daytona 24-hour uh, race. So let's see what Shane's got for us through one and two. Glides it through there nicely, carries great speed through three. It's flat all the run up towards turn four. And that's a pretty high speed run there as well. He's doing the best part of 215 kilometers an hour on the run in. Very nice start to this lap. He's gone with four green tires, so four new Dunlops for Van Giesbergen. This will pop him right up because it's a beautiful first run. In fact, it's the fastest first sector, 27-7. It's almost two tenths up on everybody. What you do notice about Shane's positioning of the car on these street circuits is how much of it he uses. He likes to get up on top of those curbs and open up the corner radius as much as he can. Turn eight, aggressive pace through there. Our second timing reference now. He's done a 19.94 in the mid sector. He's 4100 slower than the best we've seen, which was Fabian Coulthard. But remember, he's got time in hand from the first sector. So he's already in very good shape as he exits turn 11. Chas Mostert on the right-hand side of screen watching. He's the target at the moment on one minute 20.1. Uses a little bit of curb at 13, pulls it up nice and straight. Just missed, missed it. it ever so slightly at the apex of the final corner for Shane Van Gisbergen. But it's going to be pretty close, and he takes it to the top. Good lap, Nice job. First of the runners that we've seen in the 19s, and so Chaz acknowledges that performance. That is a very impressive time. And in fact, if you go back and look at what he achieved in the previous session, Mark, he did a 1 minute 20.0. And he's actually improved on that time, which you don't often do. He's listening in the background. Hey, Shane, it's Neil. Nice job. The first 19 that we've seen. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's pretty good. Happy with that. Uh, made a meal in my shootout yesterday, but uh, I think it was the oil for us last three runners. So I was pretty happy to be in the front half of the shootout there. So my car was still warm, but yeah, felt pretty good. Great job. Have a good run this afternoon, mate. Thank you. So do you remember turn 11 was the victim yesterday? Yeah. Got him really properly today. It's been lively in that spot on the racetrack so far this weekend. So let's have a look at our results after the shootout. Armour all pole position goes to Shane Van Gisbergen on a 19.8. And look at it sets up. And you're not going to like this. It's a Kiwi front row. <laughs> Settle down, Mark. Cam Waters, Will Davison, Chas Mostert, Fabian Coulthard, Jamie Wincup, Lee Holdsworth, Rick Kelly and Anton Di Pasquale is the top 10.